Hello, everybody. My name is Frost here. Frost, this is an epic one. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Oh. Gotta have it every time. Um, last time... What did we do last time? We did a, we did a fair bit of exploring. Um, we found, like, the Way of Mother Temple and all that. We talked to Minsk a while. And then we... Uh, destroyed the Steel Watch Foundry and rescued the... Uh, hey, that's a new one. We destroyed the Steel Watch Foundry and rescued the, uh... The Gondians. That's a new loading screen image. I've not seen that one before. supposed to become traversable at some point or not. Um, what do we still have to do? It seems like most of our quests are around here. Uh, we still have... what's this? Oh, that's just murder target. Um, now that we destroyed the Steel Watch Foundry, we could potentially go confront Gortash. short rest before anything. On my way. Um, oh, we already went into there. I don't remember what was in there, but we emerged from there at some point. That was like some sewer thing or something, maybe. Oh, goodness me. What was that? A good day to you, sir. I apologize, but Lady Janeth is not currently welcoming visitors. If you are here with regards to her recent marriage, you may leave any gifts or warm wishes with me, and I will ensure she receives them. Curse your luck! <clears throat> Forgive me. As you can hear, Lady Janeth is indisposed at present. Please come back another time. Indisposed. It sounds like she's being murdered. I assure you, absolutely nothing untoward is happening inside. Lady Janeth wishes for some time alone with her new spouse, and has sent her staff on holiday accordingly. Does she often send her entire staff away at such short notice? Ordinarily, no. Though such generosity would not be out of character. But in this instance, I fear she has other motivations. Motivations I will not talk about. Can I come in? Were you to try and enter, there'd be nothing I could do to stop you. After all, I am on holiday. Do as you wish. You know, I was about to start getting annoyed with that guy, but I suddenly like him. What? Hold on. I just noticed the floating furniture. What the heck? Death won't take me yet. Oh. 
Oh right, the guiding bolt thing. From my bow. Oh, there's gonna be more right there. Doesn't appear to be where we need to go. There's going to be a poltergeist over here, isn't there? Interesting. Why are we in turn-based mode? Well, well, well. Are the other poltergeists gonna pop up afterwards? Where did this blood come from? Damn it. Is the floating furniture... Yeah, the floating furniture is being dropped. That's why I'm in turn-based mode. Find a way forward. the heck wait hold on
Oh, there's a poltergeist in there. What do you mean, path is interrupted? There's not a wall there, is there? into the initiative order now. Um, actually, I should probably go for you because you're furthest from the entrance. I should have probably done that first. Well, screw it. Bam. Stage fright. Ah, that's why path is interrupted. Because there was that. Oh, did I forget to cast Longstrider on everybody? I did, didn't I? after this may as well just action surge now you I can misty step up there. Do a guiding bolt. Why does poltergeists poltergeists leave behind bodies? And you must be his patron. I used to be. Now I'm his wife. We married not a ten day ago. 
Things have changed rather a lot since then. Had I known this would happen, I... Though, who am I kidding? I'd still have married him. What happened? Not long after the wedding, he lost his appetite, fell into dark moods. He started to avoid my company entirely. Artistic temperament, I thought. But it worsened. He became violent. Called me some rather imaginative names. I hesitate to say it. Something unnatural has taken hold of him. Oscar has been possessed. Yes, that much is obvious. The last time I left this room, the walls started bleeding, and a portrait of my mother tried to bite me. Flying furniture and screaming portraits I could deal with. But to see my husband reduced to such a state. The game is starting to slow down again. I'm not sure why. Me. And he calls me such vile things. It hates everyone, but it loathes me. Why is the it's game getting him. so slow all of a sudden? I know he would never hurt me. And I promised I would let no harm come to him. As you can see, I've already failed. It's obvious he needs more help than I can give. Please, you saved him once. You must find a way to cure him. Where should I start? Oscar's behavior began to change shortly after the wedding. He became... Oh, whoops. ...working obsessively up in his atelier. I tried to take him some food, but I couldn't cross the threshold. It was as though the house itself didn't want me up there. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't want anyone going up there. I swear it's in the walls, watching. Let me see if I can figure out why the game is suddenly so slow. Yeah, oh wow, oh gods. I'm gonna try disconnecting from reconnecting to the Wi-Fi, so the stream is gonna crash for a moment. Or maybe not. Did that help? No, it didn't. Why has it suddenly become so laggy? What if I switch Wi Fi's? That helped. Some. Or maybe not. Seems like it helped a little bit. Maybe it's just all of the broken furniture that's in here all of a sudden. That's slowing it down.
Very nice. Okay, so the game is running faster, but the stream seems to be struggling. I'm going to switch Wi-Fi's again and see if that helps. Because the other Wi-Fi network seems to work better for the stream whenever I stream. Is that better? Hmm. Can't tell. Let's see what this does. It might just be all of these pieces of broken furniture that are causing the problems, honestly. can't reach destination. Does the glaive give me enough reach to hit you? No. What? How did you miss? frames. What the? There's a firework and a ball on the roof. Somebody threw their ball up there and was never able to get it down. Why do they keep turning the candles off? It's very rude. Poltergeists. Hope your soul is in good hands. God damn it, I can't reach destination thing again. Because he's standing in the doorway.
That's right, Karlak. Show them who you are. Oh, that's not good. I wonder if this is worth that cost. hall is going to be very flammable. Turn invisible. Fuck yes. Why? What exploded? Oh, was her weapon still burning from when I dipped it in fire? How much farther can I go? Oh, there's more of them over here. Not fair, you don't get to turn invisible on me. Got you. Goodness sake.
a poltergeist right there. Maybe, maybe not. I think there is, though, based on the way it was, yeah, the way it was routing my movement. Or no, they're up there. So what was I... Oh, there's a pillar there that it was just not showing me. Why are there so... Oh boy. Two more joining in. I should have used my divine sense. I keep forgetting about that. You gonna move or do anything? There you go. You're gonna do anything? Jeez, a starian. Okay, I'll hold off on the defining sense until. until we uh, get to the upper floor where they've got like those cursed skulls and stuff. One damage from that, really? Found you. Oh, 
Come on. the frames. It has resistance to piercing, doesn't it? Yeah, it has to be a minimum of 22 damage. this other poltergeist? Is it invisible? Blood comes easy these days. It's not on the stairs. Where's this? from my, uh, my thingy. This one's per short rest. Maybe I just go up and whack you. Yeah. My faith will protect me. On my way. Where is this other poltergeist? Oh, like seriously. Over here, okay. That didn't hit. Are you still over here? you run up these stairs? I'm not seeing any locations that it won't let me move to. Yeah. 
Oh, damn it. I meant to shoot at the skull. Can I just... Sacred Flame... Why does it just automatically do the, the, like, double attack of the action and bonus action? Right, get rid of the cursed skull. I'm guessing these won't stay lit. But I'll light them anyways for now. just want to see what's inside. And it's not like anybody's going to call me out for it. She's downstairs cowering with her husband. Nothing of worth. Darling Ferelia, my word, your father and I were so delighted to hear of your betrothal, and to a painter, no less. Given your groom's rather unconventional background, we'd be happy to put forward any sum you require for the ceremony. After all, one's daughter is only wedded once. Unless you're a Guthmere, of course. I'll have to tell you about that another time. As for your nuptials, perhaps we could employ the High Hall? Or would you prefer something grander? We're, oft we're very open to suggestions. All my love, Mother. P.S. I tried reaching out to that talented husband-to-be of yours. Please forgive me, I meant you no embarrassment, but he has yet to respond. It would perhaps behove him to draft a reply. Soon. I think they meant behoove. God, King, rarely do I ask for favors. God, I was not close enough for that. I disagree. Oh, come on. That's curious. 
Yes. Yeah, I noticed the wall already. Curse to put my hands on everything. I was curious about the easel. So what is it just that all of them are haunted? He like murdering his murdering people and putting them into paintings or something. Trapping their spirits inside of paintings. No, I think we should tempt fate again, Shadowheart. I think we should release all of these tormented souls from their paintings and Keep tempting fate because I'm gonna kill all of the spirits in these. Starion's doing all the work here. Shadowheart, I don't know why you keep saying that. I'm gonna keep tempting fate.
will fit in my pack. This would be a good place to to farm. Uh, oh, hey, the Van Tampoor brothers. Yeah, I know. This would be a good place to... to farm XP if I wasn't already max level. Wait, that was the right answer? Well, that's annoying. The parchment is old, flaky, and smells faintly of tomb musk. Dear Mr. Fervis, I so appreciate the desperation of your correspondence. Heartbreak can impose such a terrible burden. In my humble role as an interlocutor within the spirit realm, I believe I may, might be able to offer you some reprieve. Bring this letter to my mansion near the seafront, and together we will see if the dead have peace to offer you. Yours in spirit, Mystic Carrion. P.S. The door is regrettably stubborn, so you must speak its preferred words. Secreta, Secreta Mortuorum. P.P.S. I may even consider a discount of rate if you're willing to recommend my services to Lady Janice Well coined Kinsfolk. Oh hey, suddenly it's not so laggy anymore. These things have stayed interesting. Swift as my feet can carry. What the heck? That doesn't look like the Van Thamper brothers. I mean, that kind of looks like the one guy, uh, Amrick. But I don't see Mortlock or Thirstwell, really. Oh wait, there's a chest back there. Open up. Seems simple enough. Let's have a look at myself. All right. Well, now that all of the enemies are dealt with. And the game is running more smoothly. Oh hey, the candles are staying lit. There is work to do. Or say that one before. Right, do we have any other candles to light? There's the, that one. 
I don't think there were any in the attic. way first. Light the rest of the candles. Oh, that was my sister laughing, if you heard that squeak in the background. Wicker chest. Interesting. Camera. Father God King, worthy do I ask for favors? Now I'm knocking on the door with hopes to save a French. Oh. A charred love note, nearly illegible, addressed to Lady Janeth, apparently from a rejected suitor. The name of the sender has been burned away. Intriguing. Why is there so much steam in here? What's inside? Alright, will these stay lit now that I've dealt with the ghost problem? Looks like it. Oh, I have to light that one as well. Any ghosts in here? Quickly scrolled invoice of work completed. Record of work, 29 Tarsak, 1492 DR. Completed installation, sliding door, concealed to cubby and atelier. Initial quote, 500 gold, final invoice, 575 gold. Additional cost, structural reinforcements after door installation, making it more secret per client request. staying lit. Larry and I would have put something under the st stairs so that you had to destroy the wardrobe to get to it. Would have been a clever hiding spot. Oh, the flames are still there from the candelabra that I destroyed. There's a painting of his former lover hidden in a side chamber. Is that so? Perhaps I asked too much, making him let her go so quickly. His love sickness will pass with time. Did you find anything else? 
a letter from someone named Mystic Carrion. Oh, not him. Carrion calls himself a spirit medium. His morbid services are something of a fad among the nobility. From what I've heard, it's invitation only. He has a mansion down near the water. A forsaken place, dank and decayed as he is. You must find Mystic Carrion. If he's responsible for this mess, he can bloody well clean it up. Did you speak with Carrion? Has he provided a cure? Not yet. Well, go on then. Why are you still here talking to me? She doesn't seem like a particularly pleasant person. Also, why does this roof keep unloading the textures? Anyways, now seems like a good time to go and take a long rest. kind of funny when you get to the places where you can very clearly hear the music change. Oh wait, that was free gold. What am I doing? No, I didn't want to... What can I do for you, my friend? I wanted to take the gold, not speak to a star. I mean, I... I, I'm never unhappy about speaking to a Starian, but, but, Let's crack it up. that was not my intention. What to say to your spouse? Who to befriend? Why are you working at your job? Why do you care about taxes? What to cook, read, pay for, sell? You know, bullshit. Why is there no end to the bullshit? I have a secret for you. There is, brothers and sisters. There most certainly is. I used to be neck deep in bullshit. A shit buffet, an excrement parade, a crap storm of meaninglessness. All those, you know, those little fucking decisions we have to make that aren't really there, that are basically devoid of purpose in a shared community of thought and goal, like, say, a cult. Dirty, dirty word. I don't like it, but I had that decided for me, brothers and sisters. Every day is new and exciting with none of the business, with none of the choices mildewing in your noggin. People say cults are about conformity. I say they break it. I say they snap conformity's rotten, scrawny neck. Not a bad, not a bad, uh, promotion. I'd join that guy's cult. Wait, survival check, yep. Sorry, can you unlock this for me, please? Thank you. Love you. Another step forward. All right. Let's take a long rest. Of course. Well, don't stand in ceremony. 
come here. Did they add some new voice lines? Cause like that, I need a moment for the two of us. I don't think I've heard that before. Same with Shadow Hearts. Let's fill some graves earlier. And patch 7 just came out, so it would make sense if they had added some new stuff in it. Shadow Heart just standing over there. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> just the massive blood stain from him absorbing half of Shadow Heart's damage. At thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. The vessel only stares blankly. This Alright. Let's go. Bring up my note. Wait, that's the wrong one. Dang it. It's supposed to be Hero's Feast. My faith will guide me. Shadow Heart, come back Got over here. Hero's Feast. And aid. And then I can do Let's do Wits and Blades always shop. Freedom of movement is pretty good, but I think we'll just do Death Ward. First step is the hardest. And then I think we go after Gortash. Honestly. Like, yeah, we have a lot of side quests still, but I feel like going after Gortash might be the thing to do. Because right now, we don't even have Lazelle. And I miss her. It's kind of annoying the way it just, like, takes away a companion for basically the entire act. We don't need protection from poison when we have Hero's Feast, right? Yeah.
Let's put protection from evil and good on... Can we upcast that? No. Let's put it on Astarian, because he's kind of squishy. And then we can have Astarian join our party again. What can I do for you, my friend? Perhaps if you lost a in that game. And then Astarian can put Long Strider on all of us. Oh, Shadowheart's hand is hurting again. Are we near a Shadowheart backstory thing then? Wait, wait, oh, okay, the birds just fly away. Stack up the duplicates. This is going to be the Shar place then, isn't it? If on our way over here we've got a person who can't remember something. How about you? You having memory problems? Little beast. Nimble as anything. You'd get on well with someone I know called Halson. Halson? Is he of the Feybergs, the Candelabra makers? I'd be surprised, but perhaps. Hmm. Perhaps it was Hagrin. Uh, wonderful craftspeople, but truly terrible deal makers. Are you feeling well? You seem distracted. Oh, just tired, I suppose. It's been quite a long day. Or at least I think it has. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? Can't say that I do. I see. It must have just slipped my mind. These things happen. This is more than a lapse, you said. Yep. So this is this is Shadowheart's backstory. Guess we're not going for Gortash today. Sure, I'll detect thoughts. The man's mind is a stream of fragmented thoughts. 
each brushed away by another before it can take purchase. Marvelous day. Not a care in the world. Moira would have loved this garden. Wait, who's she? Do you know someone called Moira? Moira? Yes. No. I don't know. I think I remember a face smiling. Young. Then older. Then ill. Then... No, I don't think so. You must be mistaken, friend. I don't know anyone by that name. Ah, oh, that was sad. What do you remember? Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad it is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me. Seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. Is there anyone you can go to? Anyone who could help? There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> no, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in any case. Starting to miss the sound of your voice. That was really quite sad. Okay, she remembers lyrics now. Brief guard, yep. That sounds Sharn. Welcome. The house of grief oh, yeah. is just within. Sure. We are here to help. Before I go in, is there anything interesting over here? Oh, come on, it's doing that again. I met a man who'd been robbed of his memories. Your handiwork? This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. Let us pass. As I said, in due time. First, you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. The mapping? The mapping of the what? This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy. Be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. You may enter.
It's a pity. She's cute, but I hate her. What? What? Are, are you? What are? What are? Do I not follow you? supposed to oh no it was just the one okay good what happens if I just sit on the bench to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. A voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Go ahead. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior of Shai. It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still had the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Clever girl. She's not taking any chances. We shouldn't either. Viconia Devere. It's another face from the earlier games. I know very little about her, because I've not played the other games. And Minsk and Jahira I knew plenty about, because, come on, it's Minsk and Jahira. But I don't know too much about Viconia. I guess we're about to find some out. Astarian's right, we should not take chances. We should be ready to slaughter these people. No time for mercy. Oh. Alright, what have we got? Behind this wall. Make sure we have escape routes open, just in case. sure what purpose destroying those actually served, but haha, ha, I'm getting rid of your darkness take that sharp the unburdening 
This volume describes the full process of unburdening in exact detail. Valuable targets are identified from those who seek out the services of the House of Grief. If they are willing to pay, they proceed to the mapping of the heart, where the Inquirer of Grief will question them while discreetly probing their thoughts for anything that can be of use to the Lady of Loss. Following this, targets are ushered down downwards to stand before the Mirror of Loss. Given the correct prompts by the Inquirer of Grief, the target will surrender memories to the Mirror for the benefit of all of Lady Shar's children. In the same stroke, the Mirror can remove memories of what they have seen in the cloister, as well as whatever they believe to be the source of their troubles. Then they can be turned loose, blissfully ignorant of the offering they made. Ah, so the destroying of the walls was in case you don't have anybody with you who can pick the lock. Here, well I'm... Here is a star in anyways. Alright, I'll go in this one first because we've walked over to it now. What are these mannequins here for? A cunning disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. What are these mannequins? This was my favorite part. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. Hey, we can get another one of these. How does it look on me? Honestly, not terrible, but Shadowheart wears it better. How does it look on Carla? Fits her way better than what she was wearing. A detailed report from a Sharn agent, Dark Adept Bilvoy Reed, about the activities of Enver Gortash, an armed smuggler the Sharns had designated a person of interest. The report concludes with the lines below. Gortash, who we believe to be a follower of the tyranny godling Bane, has recently been consorting with a leading adherent of the murder godling Baal. The pair were observed entering the Devil's Fee, where they conferred for over an hour with the establishment's proprietor, the known Diabolist Helsic. Hey, we've now got name of a Diabolist to help us with the contract. This must be considered significant, as Helsic is reputed to be able to open gate portals to the hells if her extravagant fees are met. There we go. The pages in this handwritten bo notebook have been torn out, except for the final page, which was only partially removed. The remaining text reads as follows. When agents, in summary, must be trained to deal with conventional, illithid, and githyanki traps, locks, levers, and controls, but most importantly, they must be mentally prepared to face extreme situations under alien conditions. Casualties are expected, but that circumstance must not halt the mission. Agents are to be deep imbued to regard mission success as critical, even beyond survival. Moving in. Ah, here we are. This is where they got the lockpick training. Thieves tools, thieves tools, trap disarm toolkit. Here, you know what? We probably should let Astarian start carrying most of these. 
That should take some weight off of us. Not much, unfortunately. Why do these not automatically go on my keyring anymore? still need to be carrying that. Oh, the gold weight is probably making up a lot of that. Oh yeah, we'll give some of that to Carla. Check out this room now, then. This is it. Where I was raised. Trained. Hells. It's strange to be back. I wonder if anybody else has anything to say about being here. Mm -hmm. Did you? Are you talking to me? What's on your mind? What was that about? <laughs> this place is miserable. Even for the house of a god. Oh, was that her reaction in here? Was she just like... Was that her being absent-minded or something due to the... Due to this place? Is that what that was supposed to be? I thought for a moment that Carlac was, like, upset with me, that I had somehow, like, messed up and lowered her approval rating. Which, clearly, I haven't. But, like... I thought that I had because of the... that response just sounded like, Are you talking to me? Really? Manual for Sharn Interrogators, describing three levels of induced stress, emotional, physical, and lethal. It emphasizes eliciting information over punishment and cautions the interrogator against becoming emotionally involved in the process, either sympathetically or sadistically. Well, if nothing else, I can appreciate that they weren't intentionally sadistic about it. Surgery kit. Is that just a treasure thing, or can that actually do something? Looks like it's just a treasure thing. How many people did I help break upon this thing? So much I can't remember. Yet, if I picked up these implements. I'd know exactly what to do. No. Oh. Poor baby. Don't worry, I saved you. You're better now. I got you out of this cult. Thank you. 
How am I lighting that? It's all the way up there. Ha, ah, Shar, I'm getting rid of your darkness. What's next? Have a lot on my mind. Um, We're making everything all bright in here. with her. Oh, I should save. He just phased through that door before it even opened. Whoa. That closed really fast. Alright, yep, there's the cloud saying failed pop up for some reason. Now, if I try to save while I'm streaming, it just won't let me. It'll save once I stop streaming. Why is Shadowheart in the back? on either side. I'm really... I'm really tempted to go over into the armory, but, um... My sister's being very loud. I'll let her talk. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. Never. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! You know, I probably should have summoned my familiars and stuff before this battle started. My turn. Got it. Sanctuary? Aw, oh, you... That is cheap. Rage. 
No, we want to we want to save our crit stuff for against. Oh right, I forgot I can have a Starian Rage. Damn it. They think I'm such a, a minimal threat that they... Oh, hey. Kind of glossed over it, but she just isn't afraid of... Uh, she just pointed out she isn't afraid of wolves anymore. Got rid of all of her temporary hit points. So that's nice. No, that won't work. Um, let's bring back our six level spell slot. Seems a good turn to me. that too. Ooh, that's not great. Eee! What the heck? Let's just hit you with a uh... And then let's hit you with a third level Divine Smite. But first... Oh, I could try and stage fright a bunch of you guys. That might be... That might be the play. I was gonna Hunter's Mark her, but I think that's better. Actually, we could blast them with a big sun. Be oh, but it'll hit a starion too. Um, so maybe not. Let's just do a big old divine smite. We still have non-lethal attacks toggled? No, we don't, but it specifically knocked her out. She has something... She has some quest thing that needs to happen afterwards, I guess. them. They should add like a feature where 
Would you stop casting Beckoning Darkness on Karlak? It's not nice. It'd be really cool if, if um, Lathander's Light was able to dispel darkness. Are these guys all able to see through the darkness? Ooh. Starion's not looking too great. Neither is Volf. Oh boy. This is looking we're looking rough. Right, we have two bonus actions. Yeah, they can see through the darkness. They're getting attacks of opportunity. Still. Let's disengage. We want to get Astarian out of the darkness. God damn it. action search actually we want to start killing some of these people get fewer attackers in here clear up the field somewhat At this point, we go for the huge spirit guardians. And then... Misty step over to... Oh, we're stuck in the darkness cloud. Let's try that. Worked on them. They're using... Their cantrips are really causing problems for me. Oh yeah, immune to blinded. Heh, <laughs> stage fright. Ooh, boy. Okay. Ugh. I'm unable to heal myself. Bone chill. God damn it. Can't move away. It'll give me an attack of opportunity. Um... Ugh. This kinda sucks.
Let's shield of thralls. And myself. And then maybe do a second level. Divine Smite. Nice. Got rid of you, okay. Who's concentrating on the darkness? You and you. Okay. Let's move out of there. That bone chill is really Screw me up. Ha! Got rid of the darkness. I need to get rid of some of these gloom masks. They're just walking into the spirit guardians. That's nice. Buddy, this is not going well for you. We need to disengage so that we can get over to you. trying to... I probably should have just killed them, but I was trying to knock them down so that maybe Shadowheart can misty step over. Because I'm gonna bring up a fifth level Spirit Guardians. Thank you, Astarian. Guardians. Oh, that was nice. Got rid of most of them. So now we go up here, out of there, and then Misty Step over to, I guess, there? How much help? 21? Let's go to here. Um, yeah, get get the spirit guardians onto you, and then come over here. And kill those guys with it. 
Oh, I didn't mean to provoke an attack of opportunity. Oh well, that's fine. Missed anyways. Can't get close enough to you, unfortunately. You were like just out of the radius. That's a bit annoying. God, you're again. Ooh, that's gonna suck, because that's gonna be damage over time, which means. Just consistent perception checks. Let's drink that. And then. I think I can afford an attack of opportunity. I want to get to a good position where I can make the most of this sunbeam. I can't tell who's getting hit there, because... It, all, it automatically highlights them when they're in the, the thing. Oh yeah. That's the good stuff. All right. So that's all he can do. Enough with the beckoning darkness, jeez. Oh, you're still up there. Nice. Ooh, Mistarian, buddy. Mm. This is a rough fight. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on. Alright, get rid of you. And then we can come over to you. Because these spellcasters are causing the biggest problems right now. out of the darkness. Bonus action, spiritual weapon. There we go. No, come closer. God damn it. That's just BS.
do you mean provokes up attack of opportunity? It literally specifies that it doesn't. It's misty step to there. get within melee range of both of them so that if either of them tries to move away I can whack him and there goes the darkness Will would be really handy to have in this fight, actually, because warlocks can get the Devil's Sight. Will would crush in this fight. You're not bone chilled anymore, actually, so I can heal you. Um... We'll drink the big one. Actually, we'll wait and do that after the other stuff, because that way... up my bonus action even when I specifically chose just the one. There we go. Let's keep the fire, baby. All right, you're dead. Let's get rid of you. Nice. Okay. level now. Oh, it hit Astorian as well. I didn't mean to do that. He doesn't have his, his reaction anymore. Seriously? My haste went away. I didn't even realize. Alright, can I get over to you? No. Okay. Well, then I'll just shoot you with that. And then bonus action. Let's 
I just keep not using these things. empower you with that. Well, this spiritual weapon turned out to be really helpful. Why are you still in the initiative order? You're dead. extinguished them. That's probably why it's taking two clicks to light them, because the game thinks they're already lit, but the darkness got rid of the light source. Suck it, Char. I'm, I'm lighting all your candles. Alright, let's go search some of these folks and then talk to... You were right, ma'am. What they ask of you as a novice in the cloister, it's just... My heart isn't hard enough to do these things. I had to run out of last ten days interrogation class to vomit. But now that I'm in, I don't see any way to get out again. Not alive, anyway. I don't even know yet how I'm gonna get this letter to you. I'm scared. And the way the Mother Superior looks at me, I think she knows it. Oh, how I wish I'd listened to you. You're dim, but... Oh, here they've dubbed me Blue Nail. Well, that's why you don't go joining an obvious cult. Al Altalon, the Mother Superior has approved me for applied poisons and paralysis training. I'm so proud your little nightmist is going to be a certified venom specialist for the Dark Lady. That will also qualify me to study the basics of sudden esophageal collapse. What fun! Oh, you've got a key. We're gonna want that. Strengthening of the sword arm. Melee drills for two hours each day. Change opponents and weaponry for each round. Bloodletting is acceptable. Indeed, it is expected. Remember, a well-trained warrior has the scars to prove it. Honing of the archer's eye. Range drills for two hours each day. Targets will progress from fixed to moving to live. Hardening of the poisonous heart. Crafting and theory of poisons and concoctions for two hours each day. Pupils shall be dosed with low levels of poisonous substances in order to develop their tolerance.
I do not want to start a conversation with you. No, I didn't want to start a. Finish it. Send me to Lady Shah's embrace. She still has answers I need. Make it quick. Make it quick. My parents. Where are they? So blunt. Have you forgotten all the interrogation techniques I taught you? Where is the finesse? Answer me! They are right through that door in the Chamber of Loss. Where they have been all along. You saw them many times. Only we made you forget. But they didn't forget. They watched as we molded you. They watched. They wept. They bled. Often at your hand. It may not be a happy reunion. But it will be a memorable one. Such a cruelty. Why? Why me? Why all this effort? Lady Shah commanded me. And I obeyed. I do not question. I merely act as she wills me to. I had an enclave in Waterdeep, you know. Much grander than this. Shah ordered me to raise it. Kill all who followed me. Claim they betrayed me. But in fact, I slew those who showed nothing but loyalty. Shah had me do that. And I did. To cover my tracks. To usher in you. What are you talking about? You became my mission. To take a child of Salunas and turn her over to Lady Shah. To show that all light fades and darkness will prevail in the end. Well, I guess you failed at that, huh? All this was to make you into what the Dark Lady needed you to be. The planning, the training, those deaths in Waterdeep. It was all to groom you to replace me at her right hand side. And still you threw it away. Are you expecting the sympathy? Sympathy is for the weak. I merely wanted to say my piece. I wanted her to know the cost of her education. Now, do what you will. What do you want to do, Shadowheart? I want to see my parents. And I don't care what happens to this one. She's been in my head long enough already. Do what you like. I know you'll choose well. What are you doing? Come back and finish this yourself. You owe me that. Let go, mother. Embrace love. <laughs> I'm killing her, I wanna see if she has good loot. Plus I'm both of vengeance. So, you know. It makes sense. Like often I like to spare people, but like especially with Iconia. Scared the wearer's advantage on stealth checks. Shield of Faith grants you plus two bonus saving throws, plus one to armor class. Uh, set the wearer's strength to 18, and it's a plus two mace. How does that compare to Edge? Lyconia's Walking Fortress. When a foe hits you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction, dealing two to eight force damage and not, not get prone unless they succeed on the next save. Advantage on saving throws against spells, spell attack rolls against you at disadvantage. Reflective Shell. Two turns, reflects any projectiles away from you. And it lets you cast Warding Bond for free. So now Shadowheart can cast Warding Bond on somebody, and the other guy can. Hold on, I just I need to see something. Honestly, it doesn't look terrible. Alright, what is Shadowheart? Cr oh yeah, she has the Spear of Night. That's probably better for her. But I'm guessing that, yeah, Walking Fortress is way better than Catherick's Shield. But Catherick's Shield might be better for me than... Hmm. I like the Glowing Shield a lot, actually. I might stick with the Glowing Shield. Strength 14. 
Let's see, that gives way better additional benefits. The Viconia's Mace is just solely for, like, people that want to get up into melee, and I, I have Shadowheart doing a lot of spellcasting. Tuesday's inspection was a disaster. How could I have overlooked the stains on my tunic? Must ask Hyrald when they get that special soap that takes dried blood out of fabric. Alright, let's check out the armory. Oh, wait, I want to see if Shadowheart has anything to say now. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Hmm. Uh, oh, I had a new dialogue option though. Did you want something? If not, I'm perfectly happy to just gaze upon your wife. But I think it won't be a problem anymore. What comes now? My parents are still captive. I need to free them. Yep. That's the plan. Uh, but I do have to satisfy my loot goblin. Uh, my inner loot goblin first. Studded shield plus one. Gives a plus three to armor class. Artifact mission agent roster. A roster of five infiltrators is written in elegant hand. Above their names, it is noted that this group have proven themselves to be the most skilled and have the greatest chance of successfully obtaining the artifact, but they remain utterly expendable. Kelton Darkwood, leader. Buddha Gvuris, close combat. Kirk Deepcroft, lockpicking. Brina Covley, languages. Shadowheart, healer. Oh. oh, that's just something I can pick up. I can't inspect it. Oh, I... My bow is giving off light. I didn't remember that was a thing. There's a little picnic spot back there. It doesn't seem like there's much else to look through in here. So let's see what's back here. Night Orchids! They keep precious pelf upon the altars for nothing. The door wants gold, trinkets, sparkles of mammon. Okay, we should probably do that before investigating this Night Orchid cave further, because this seems like a thing Shadowheart would be interested in, so she might have some dialogue for in there. That doesn't unlock with the Viconia's chest key. Of the moon maiden. By the end of the lunar league, woe unto any who throws their lot in with Siluna. For always she has a pulling wool over one's eyes. First, she can make you think her husband is a werewolf when he's only forgotten to shave. Second, she's always changing, making it difficult for slow painters to capture her likeness. Third, tides, absolute bug of the tides. Fourth, people keep associating the moon with femininity, and frankly, we're fed up reading the same poetry over and over, and it's all that celestial bid Siluna's fault. You know, fair enough. Like lost in dark. What is that moving? That's a dormitory. Let's, let's go rescue Shadowheart's parents first. I don't know, but we had a silver key that did it. Where do we get the silver key? Captives of Shar. I'll let you bearing the names of those who incarcerated of those incarcerated in the chamber of loss. Some are noted who have died. Fresh clear, Githyanki, double guard at all times, deceased. Arnel Hallowleaf and Lean Hallowleaf, Baron Alice Bormal, deceased. Unknown interloper, deceased. Shadow Park, is your last name Hallowleaf? That's a cute last name. That's the dead Githyanki. Okay, straight ahead. 
Oh, that's them. I see. Let's get some light in here for this interaction, shall we? You have to choose, Shadowheart. Free your parents or rid yourself of Shaw's curse. make a choice. But I feel like it's more cruel to make her have to choose, almost. Because if, if I, no matter what, if I suggest it, then at least she has the comfort of having somebody else to blame. But if I were to make her choose, then if she chooses to kill her parents, even if that's what they are advising, still, um, she still will feel like it's her decision. I don't know. I don't know what to do. And see, I feel like sacrificing her parents is a better option here. Because she does have us now to support her, so she won't be alone. And her parents want this. Um, but it's really horrible to make her have to do that. Mmm, I hate this choice. I feel terrible. Why is the video game making me have to do this? Um, God. I don't, I don't want to just make her choose, right? Like, I know that before when it came to Will, I complained about how I had to choose for him in this situation, but that situation was a lot more of a, like, that situation felt more like it should be up to Will. But this is a situation where it feels like making her choose adds an additional layer of cruelty. Like, she is looking to me for guidance right now. She wants me to help her. God, this is- this sucks! Um... Ah... Mm. Oh... I feel like sacrificing my parents is the better option. Because, I mean, her mother- look at her mother. Her, she's very old. Her father's an elf, so that was longer, but her mother is, like, at the end of her life. Um... So... Like... She's not gonna have much time with her parents either way. Um, her parents are, like, kind of broken from Char's torture anyways. 
and she's still missing a lot of her memories. Like, we've unlocked some of them, but she doesn't remember much about them, and she lost them when she was a child. She's gone most of her life without them. So, like, well, yes, it is horrible, because she still loves her parents and cares about them. She didn't, she doesn't know them that well. But it's, it's horrible, because she, she has to choose, but she has to take their lives. But if we go the other way, then she has to live the rest of her life out with this horrible curse from Shard inflicting pain on her. Which, I mean, she's caught up with it so far, but the way that Shar worded it just now implies that it's only going to get worse over time. Because it was every time she takes a step towards Saluna's life, she'll feel that pain. So if she ever does truly become a priestess of Saluna and go all the way, then I feel like she's just going to be constantly wracked with pain. I want to leave it up to her, but I feel like that is the wrong call. Because that also, that's not as engaging of content. In addition to the other things I've discussed, I'm, I'm straight this. I feel like I should make a decision here. So I think, for this first playthrough, especially, look, it puts it at the top result. It clearly thinks that it is, like, the better is the default one that you should go with. Because, like, the way that the game structures the responses is usually the first response is fairly safe. In case the game bugs and does the continue, like, where you can only press the first option. Um, not always, but usually, especially when it comes to bigger things. I'll go with number one. I, I hate it. I do not like it. I do not like having to make this choice. Which is the point. But I will go with number one. You should end the suffering and yours. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You went to the abandoned lab to us when it was faithful, but they dropped you for us. Now that can be righted, and we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even possible. I think it popped up the dialogue options a bit early. Okay, now I think it's when I'm supposed to go with the dialogue options. I'm sorry that it came to this. And one thing. What should I call you now? Shadowheart? Jennifer? I feel like if I say that, she might respond to something like, I don't want to, I want to remember my mistakes so I can grow from them. Shaw did that for no other purpose but sheer spite. Shaw seeks to break people, to fill their lives with despair so that they will turn to her for relief. Perhaps she thought this would lead me back to her in time, but it won't. I fought too hard to win my freedom, I will not give it up again no matter how much it hurts. What about us? Do you still remember all we've been through? Of course. From the first time I laid eyes on you right until now. That's all safe. Memories will fade with time. They always do. Perhaps. But in the meanwhile, I'll just have to find a way to live with them. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm just noticing again just how painful that armor looks. Like, that looks really terrible. If you lean your head to the side, you're stabbing yourself. What is over here? Anything? It does not appear to be anything. Oh, there's a skeleton. The Ragged Sheet is the last will and testament of Baron Alice Bormel, written in what looks like dried blood. It leaves all her worldly possessions to her beloved daughter, Vivi Normal. I wonder if that's somebody we'll meet. And we can tell her what happened to her father and that he left everything to her. Mirror of Loss. Oh, it's a reflection in the mirror. I was like, why is there a glowing light above my head? But there's not. That's right, Shadowheart, you killed that brazier. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got the rest. Huge polished bits of luminous before you. <clears throat> but on the top is no reflection. All you see is a form of endless darkness. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stepped before this mirror of the vault. Many 
tunnels, perhaps. Tentacles, try to understand the purpose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. Whatever. Nothing comes to eat. Camera remains a mystery. I feel like off of the prayer there may be a bad idea. So let's do it. That's not. Your cries fade away into the nothingness of the mirror. Unknowledge. I'm pretty sure that the back can give you a, a stat upgrade of some kind, like a buff. Though, I don't know how. I mean, how it seems pretty clear. You succeed on those checks instead of rolling horribly and failing miserably. Um, but I don't know, like, beyond not rolling terribly, I don't know how. I can't examine that skeleton. Right, it's annoying. Wait, not like this. A log and derogation notes detailing the Yankee captive's torture over a number of days. The captive remains strong at first, but very gradually starts to slip and offer information by the whereabouts of a mysterious artifact hidden away by Queen Gwadith. It's still not entirely clear to me why they wanted the artifact, or if they even knew what it was and what it did. It might, it might be they're just like Shar instructed them to go after it and they listened. It's not the turn. Who are you? Why didn't you try to kill me? Fairly decided. I was there when you picked that up. It was years ago when we were in issues. Some of the other intent or tormented us until you showed them the error of our ways. I think it was six years too. You must have been the last to it, but you saw the last one of them. There was some bruised lips and black eyes in the mess all that night. You can handle whatever's alone. Or at least, they followed us last. What about Scar? A collision between your elbow and the teeth of a girl called Bullock. She came away from the woods in you. She was on the same mission as you. I suppose she would have come back. In any case, Mother Superior soon broke up the fight, but she didn't punish us. In fact, I saw her smiling. I think she was proud of you. Mm -hmm. Just small things, silly things. I saw you scattered poorly before the memories were left intact. You had a little hiding place that you went to when you needed to get away. That sounds like my cave. Play, read, do to the hair. Historians would later call them Bessies. I think I found a place in here, in a storage area. You're the first. I thought about sometimes they left you pinned back there. Is that please you left? From what you said before, you're the responsible for my hair. The patent French? Yes, on your instructions, of course. You were very intent on a bold look, I think you said. My hands were cramped by the time I finished, but you were very pleased. I like the new look of what, though. You always did like a dramatic touch. You're just going to remain here? There's only a fact that he's gone. Remains to be seen. This place is all I've ever known. In time, perhaps I'll venture out there. See what I've been doing. But for now, all habits die hard. Oh, what? That was just a light embrasure. She's so upset now. Because I lit the... She's so upset with us now that I lit the brazier. Anyways, let's go back to the Nightwood room now. Did you want to If not. Shut up, parents repeats. And so she 
things. Just wait here. The last time I've time for she comes to terms with this. But at least now, she can stop. Free of shock. She's going to make me look merry, and she's going to take my memories. I do not want to forget who I am. I love flowers, I like animals, my name is Barry Breaks Off. I'm gonna pick up the night orchids. Maybe I can get them to shatter. I can't give her the night orchids that way, so I'll just carry them. Are they in that empty slot? Is it just not showing the night orchids in my inventory? I think that's what's happening. Yeah. Seem to just be gone. Oh, unless, oh, they're probably in, uh, probably in my alchemy pouch, not. Yeah, they're there. Here, I'll leave the rest of her carry. Acorn Pruffle. Let's see what else I have to say about Shadow Hearts. Uh, release for parents, and then let's, uh... Hmm, that's okay, let's do Shadow Hearts members will be ahead of the attack. We have to go and summon the parents. I hope she finds comfort in that. The group tells us to Shadow Hearts. But she did as her parents wished. She has my eternal respect. And I hope she soon finds peace. Federal Shadow Hearts tried to have a phone with love and could change the service. Shadow Hearts did not let her. I cannot presume to know her parents. For what they suffered. But I know that they were proud. Overtook our leader, and other men of evil vanquished, and an old foe defeated. Well, the Congo is a friend for a short time for her, but with a foe once more. Esbu, it was a wicked witch. But I mentioned her name to see that next to his name. What did you do? Who and means can travel far and wide, and with many fine, and not so fine people. It was a bright color, and even the wisest of friends could not always recognize who for what he is. The brains do wrong. Of course, but also a miniature giant space hamster. Lida was a cruel witch, but a clever one. She knew what who was right away. She had never seen his life before. She wished to inspect his handsome magnificence, and so she did. One night while he lay asleep, witching his whiskers in the happy dreams, she crept upon his tiny bed hole, holding a knife as slim and a toothpick. She meant to spill his miniature guts and stuck him. I'm surprised you didn't kill her there and then. I did not get the chance. Who never sleeps deeply while Eve is near. He sprang into action and almost blinded the witch. She fled to her camp by morning, and who called me the old tale of a private of Barry's and Nazi. was profound out of love. Her courage is... Well, it's quite something to hold. Alright. Let us end the episode there. Um, for the one YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to everybody you can find on YouTube. I will not see you in the next one, and I'll be again. But if you choose to watch it, you'll see me in the next one. Farewell. Oh, it's doing the thing again. I don't want to see if they're going properly. Good. Um, what's up? Right, you just sell. Camp supplies.
Why is the statue moving in the exam? Perfect. That doesn't seem right. Oh, the recording is still doing the thing where it doesn't want to save. Um, so I'm gonna end the stream. And hope it saves properly ish. Let's see if there's anything I want to wait on Twitch. No. Okay, I'll end the stream then.